Hello everyone, in this video, let's see about the multiple calculation. So in multiple calculation, this used mostly in business side. So the, it will be very useful for the business people also. It is used to find whether selling these many pens, are, it is a profit or loss. So in these kind of information, this gives you. So what's the selling price? Uh, for example, uh, I'm selling a pen for 10 rupees. But the manufacturer sold me for four rupees, and for I'm selling a pens of quantity about three hundred, and let me give it fixed cost. So what will be a fixed cost? Quantity into the selling price that is three thousand. So I'm giving us three thousand, and whether it is profit or loss, there is a formula here. It is written with profit is equals to quantity multiplied by selling price minus direct cost minus fixed cost. So this is the formula for finding the profit. So now let's use this formula. So firstly, let me give it an equal to, what's the quantity? First one, quantity. Quantity is 300 at which cell it is? It is here. And multiplied by close brackets, selling price minus direct cost, close brackets minus fixed cost. So this is a formula for profit or loss you can say. Okay, I'm giving it has enter now. So you got the value of minus uh, 1200 rupees. So there is a loss. If, uh, if you get a number positive that is before zero, uh, it is a profit and if the answer come in negative, it is nothing but the loss. So that uh, as you can see, if you sell 300 rupees at the cost of 10, you get a loss of 1200 rupees. So that's not good, right? So now let me check what value I'll get the uh, profit. So I'm giving 350, 400. Okay. Now let me drag this. So I get the numbers. So I got the numbers now. So now what I have to do is whether I should check if I sell 300 pens, will I get profit or loss? Will I get 500 pens? Will I get profit or loss? So now let's check that. So now I'm going to select these two rows and go to the multiple operations option it is available in the data menu as you can see the multiple operations after you select you have to go to data menu and the multiple operations so if you click you get a multiple operation dialog box here so now you have to click a cell which contains formula that is which one has the formula here this one right we apply the formula so here you get so next I'm giving you whether you should give at, at least one in one. You have to give whether the, the row input cell or a column input cell. If I click OK, it will show you an error like this. OK, now let me give a column input cell has the quantity. And I'm giving OK. So I get the loss and the profits. So if I sell a 300, I mean, if I sell 300 pins, I get a loss of 1200, the same thing. And what about 400? I get minus 600 rupees. About 450, I get minus 300 rupees. And if you see here, if I get 700 pens, and if I sell, I get a profit of 1,200. I mean, 1,200 rupees. So this is how you can see, right? See the uh, difference, as you can see. And if you sell 800 pens, you would get uh, 1,800 rupees profit. So this is mostly uh, uh, used or be helpful in business. So that's what I want to tell you in the multiple operations in calc.